is to talk hey guys kill was nine here welcome back to another video today's story is going to be back when I was 12 a couple years back um, me a couple buddies were hanging out like on our bikes riding around the neighborhood as kids do and after about half an hour we started to notice this black pedo van like literally it, it looks like a pedo van it's got all the tinted ass windows and shit. It was following us. So of course, af after we noticed that, we started to bug out a little bit. Because I mean, that's not normal in our neighborhood. No one owns a pedo van in our neighborhood. And so, we bike past it, and we see some dude in there with some holes in his arm. We start flipping the fuck out. We don't know what's going on. Like, what, what do you expect a couple of 12 year old kids to think? And they see a man with holes in his arm. He was picking stuff off his arm, he was eating it. He he, he saw us, and he, he turned on his van, and he started following us as we like, pedaled as fast as we could. And later on that, well, I mean, of course we got away, because we're on bikes and we're in a small neighborhood. But later on in the day, we were biking, and we saw the same van. This time the dude was, like the window was rolled down, he had a belt around his arm, he had a needle going in, he was tweaking the fuck out, and he yelled at us, he saw us, he yelled at us, pulled the needle out of his arm, threw it at us, and drove after us again. It was pretty freaky, but uh, that's it for this story, moral of the story is, don't stare at people in public, it's a bad idea, they're gonna start, start getting mad at you for staring at them, especially if they're doing something illegal. But, you know what, this is going to be a special video, and I'm going to put two ideas into it. Two different stories, because they're both kind of short. So, this one is going to be about uh, rolling my quad. It's not too exciting, but, you know, I'm going to put it in here anyway. Um, we don't tell this nothing. was when I was 13. I was out by Richmond, Hello. and Thank you for it was, there's a big ass like sand flats and shit, so which is now apartment buildings. And me and my dad uh, and a couple of his buddies were out there dirt biking, quadding, and it, it was starting to get like really muddy. It was pouring down, it was pissing down. The mud was about a foot thick, and the quad was just powering through it. And there came a time where I looked at this hill, and it must have been at least like a 45 degree hill. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. So I start going up it, but there's a pothole on the left side. So my left front tire goes into the pothole. My right front tire pulls up, and the quad flips back up on top of me. And but I got lucky. The only thing I got pinned was the sole of my rubber boot. So I was able to take the boot off, walk back probably a good half mile back to the truck to get help from uh, the couple of the adults that were there. Help flip the quad, and we rode it back and. Well, we continued to have a good day. It didn't break anything on the quad. It didn't break anything on me, which was pretty good. Um, I've got a couple other stories about rolling my quad, but they're not really fully rolling it. More like going onto its side and shit, and going up onto the rear end, almost uh, crushing us. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. If you want me to continue making squad uh, stories about my quad, but that's gonna be it for the for the episode today, guys. Have a good night. Peace.